Hello and welcome to Best of the Worst, a celebration of the very best of the very bad. We'll be looking at everything from the worst inventions to the worst thing to happen to a streaker. Not to mention this, the worst mistake to make at a mafia wedding. <laughs> so let's welcome our guest this week on David Mitchell's team, comedian Rob Rouse. <laughs> and with Johnny Vaughan tonight, TV presenter Jane Middlemiss. Round one is Pick the Worst, in which both teams try to pick the worst from a number of options. Once they've made their choices, the audience votes, and the team the audience agrees with gets the points. Tonight we're picking the worst diet, and our contenders are fast food, fresh air, a car, and human flesh. <laughs> Uh, that's the uh, uh, Uruguayan <laughs> rugby team. They crashed right. a plane on the Andes and they ended up eating their dead mates. That's right. What's quite odd to me is that fellow just crouching down appears to be slathering as if he knows somehow the plane's yes. going to crash. <laughs> it just must be a really odd thing, tucking into a mate. Especially when you get to, like, his tattoo... Is, yeah. is odd the word? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. odd, isn't it? This it's slice odd. of Gary's knee. I would describe this, this experience as an odd experience. <laughs> I, I, I read a book recently about, about cannibalism, but apparently the tastiest part of a human is that little bit there Ooh. on the fingers. Although it really feels weird when you pick up a hand and eat it. <laughs> yeah. If anybody here is ever in the position of having to pick up a hand to eat it, they yeah. can assuage yeah. that feeling of oddness with the knowledge that it is going to be yes. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> These are to die for. <laughs> How long before they decided they would start eating their dead? A couple so, of hours? Two weeks. No. It was. It was 15 Ten days. days. Ten days. I was Ten in days. a lift recently. It was about... We were trapped for 20 minutes. Sure. And already I was looking around. <laughs> <laughs> what did the Uruguayan rugby team drink? Piss. 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 That's yeah, absolutely right, yes. Okay, if you are going to drink piss, what you do is you put it in the bottle, you let it settle for five minutes. That's what they do in survival packs. They have a, a special bottle, so it settles, and you can get a bit of... Uh... Could you get, like, a, a piss cafetiere? Just <laughs> 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 to make sure all the bits go. You could, Dave. It'd be quite a niche product. <laughs> <laughs> After crashing in the Andes, a Uruguayan rugby team had to eat their dead teammates to survive, although one rugby player refused to eat an entire body as he had a nut allergy. And also, this guy at the bottom here, that's Monsieur Mange, too. Exactly. And, and it's claimed he ate a plane. But how does he? Presumably, he just cuts the plane up into tiny, tiny. little bits that yeah. just go through his system exactly. and come out the other end pretty much undamaged. Yeah, you want to impress me? Eat a man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Eat a man covered in metal. Eat yes. Jimmy Savile. Eat, yeah, eat yeah. Jimmy Savile. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, in fact, actually, if you think about it, Yes, it's quite possible that someone could do that. And the only thing that's, that's at all amazing is that someone has been idiotic enough to bother. If, however, <laughs> if, however, he just walks up to a plane and his mouth opens weirdly, yeah. like a sort of snake, <laughs> plane yeah. shape and neck goes down, and that's, you know, he's set up for a month, then, yeah. then fair enough. <laughs> but I don't think that's the way he does it. I think it's hundreds of tiny bits of metal <laughs> going through his system, coming out the other end unharmed. And that is the act of, of, a, of a, oh, yeah. well, at best, a wanker. Okay. <laughs> there is, of course, also a Madame Mangetou, or Vanessa Feltz, as she's better known. <laughs> this is the controversial guru of breatharianism, Australian Ellen Greve, who claims she can live entirely on air and light. Oh. I bet she is, Chris. Well, yeah, I'd basically, like to see basically we know you can't live off air and light. That's really? been scientifically <laughs> proven. We're not hundred percent there isn't a dinosaur in Loch Ness, but we know you can't live off air and light. So, she's a liar. <laughs> yeah. She's just I, I, wa I, I, wasting she's our time lying, no. and she should be told oh, not to lie, to tell the truth, and to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, what evidence is there that the breatharian diet is far from healthy? You starve to death from yes. it. Yeah, at least three people have died from it. Can I just, like, point out that she's pretending that she's in some sort of yoga position. Yeah. She ain't. She's just got her legs yeah. crossed. She's not even in a lotus position. And what she's doing with her hands is wrong as well. Tell you what she's, got, she's doing with her hands. She's got a snack egg in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, the yep. guy with the burger, as someone who's losing his hair, that is such a waste of hair. <laughs> <laughs> More and more I see tramps with hair and I think, you don't need that hair, I do. <laughs> Why is your hair so thick? <laughs> Dave's got wonderfully thick hair, yes, he chooses to style it like the Fuhrer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waste.
taste of thick hair. <laughs> Is this the guy who lived on McDonald's? He's a guy called Don Guska, whose claim to fame is that he has eaten 20,000 Big Macs in his lifetime. Look at his hair now! <laughs> Do you know, it's really flyaway as well. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> uh, what did he do in a McDonald's parking lot? A massive shit. <laughs> No, Don Gorska proposed to his wife oh. in the parking lot of McDonald's. Classic. Oh, that's all. That's changed everything. That's lovely. Turned her moment he slipped Beautiful. the onion ring over her finger. <laughs> <clears throat> did she say yes, or did she say, get a life, you loser? No, he said yes. Fuck wife. off! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's a great thing in a Geordie accent, isn't it? It's a gift to the world. So is it, there's that fellow who does the voiceovers on Big Brother as well, who they take the piss out of just by giving him eights and zeros in the phone numbers, isn't it? Kind of, you know, yeah. vote for Pete, Dale, ooh, it's, ooh, ooh, it's, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, any other diets we might have included? Those two Germans who, oh, mm. yes. who, uh, that, that cannibal arrangement on the internet, yeah. that man who ate his own knob. Yeah. Flombed and he, by the other guy. Fried, fried up in front yeah, of him yeah. by the other guy. And it, it was tough. He didn't like it. Yeah, the thing is, he, he, to be fair to yeah. him, 